and today we are going to be mixing every single slime ingredient, every single slime supply, every anything to do with slime that I own into one big slime. So to start off we are going to be using some white glue, clear glue and any other type of glue as my base for today. So to start off we have one gallon of Elmer's glue, white glue and we're not going to use it all obviously but we we'll use quite a bit because we want a nice big base for our ooh, a little bit got out of a container so that's about half of a gallon of white armor's glue so I'm going to quickly clean up my mess so yeah so the first things we're going to add in our slime is the blue cart for those of you that don't know what the blue cart is or the white things or anything like that you can go check out my slime room tour, but which shows everything, all of my slime ingredients, but not all of them. I have some somewhere else. So now we're gonna add in about two bottles of white of clear Elmer's glue. So one of them is by Darice, and the other one, or Darice, I don't even know, and the other one's by Elmer's. So the Darice or Darice ones, I'm not sure where, but Elmer's you can get it pretty much everywhere. So that's my Darice glue, or Darice, I don't even know. And then we have some glitter glue and purple glue. So we're gonna add our Elmer's purple glue. I've tried literally every single slime activator in the world for this glue, but literally none of them work. This glue is like, it just doesn't work. No matter how many different activators I've tried, it still doesn't work. So next is Elmer's glitter glue. I have three different colors. We have pink, blue, and green. We're just going to add um, a little splat of it because I love my glitter glues and I'm going to make a video on some glitter glue DIYs. Okay. So I do have an injury. Okay, but anyways, we're going to move down to the second shelf, which you guys can't see, but that's okay. We have two different companies of shaving foam. So we're just going to add, so the first one is Gillette and the other one is Pan, Panta, Pan, Panita, I don't even know, but it's from the dollar store. So we're going to shake it up and add some in. So this one's empty, so we're going to grab our second bottle and hope that there's more. So that's enough of the Panita Dollarama brand. And the next ingredient is baby oil and foaming hand soap. Foaming facial cleanser, I mean, so mine's clean and clear, and the Delon baby oil. Okay, that's about good. So the next one here is some citric acid and some foaming hand soap. We're only going to add like a, such a tiny little bit of that because, yeah, it was, it, I don't, the only reason I had have this is because it was for DIY, but, um, it, it uh, didn't work, so I usually use it to remove slime from clothing and stuff like that. So, yep, the next thing we're going to add is some microbeads, which is, we're going to add some microbeads and some Metamucil. Okay, that's about good on the microbeads, and we're going to add some a lot of Metamucil. Okay, that's about good. Now we're going to add some minion soap along with some dish soap. We have a lot of ingredients, guys. So a nice generous squirt layer. So comment down below what color you think this slime is going to be by the end of this video. Next up we have some Bure Deep Pore Cleansing Soap. And some Rainbow Loom Elastics which we're about to add in right now. We're just gonna add in a, like uh, about a half a pack of that. So, that's about good. And then we have some Morph. Morph is something I was gonna do a DIY on, but I just actually haven't got around to using it yet. So we're gonna add about that much Morph. Okay, and we're going to put that back. Then we have some Gorgum, which, is a vegan ingredient. We have some guar gum and some pigmented uh, sand. So 
we're going to remove the popsicle stick. So I literally just put pigment in sand for no exact reason. That was a lot. <laughs> Whoopsies. But that's pretty much it for this cart. So we're going to switch up the carts and I'll be right back. So on the white card, there isn't really much of slime ingredients, but the next one is some lotion. And I may, toward the end, decide to add in some pigment of all my paints, or maybe not. So we have some confetti. We have two different types of confetti. So we're just going to add about that much confetti to the slime. Yep. And then we have some sequins. That's, oh god, that's really ugly. I wish I had sneaked those somewhere else before you saw them. <laughs> Maybe down the toilet. But then we have some sequins. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. So we have a little bit of some Fimo slices, which you can order anywhere. These took me forever, so we're only going to add, like, a pinch of those. Then we have some chalk, which we can't really add in. So, we lastly have some pom-poms, which we're only going to add in like five or six pom-poms. Okay, and that's about it for this cart, so let's move on to the next one. So the next thing we're going to add in is some glitter. Just a sprinkle of each of the glitters. Added in some hollow glitter, now we have some other hollow glitter. This one is the hollow one. So we have that one. And then we have another hollow glitter here, which is that one, which we're going to pour in. That's about good. And then we have some iridescent glitter from probably Walmart. I don't know. And then we have some pink glitter, extra fine. And then we have a bunch of these little things of glitter that came in a pack that I don't really like. So we can add a... Some of those. Okay, so there's red, blue, gold, and uh, a mix, and then silver. So I would add my little mini packs of fine glitter, but I feel like I don't want to waste them all, and that's just too big of a waste. So we're not going to use that, and we're not going to use our pigments either. So yeah, let's continue adding in some more things when I find some. So now we're going to add in some pink sand. Okay. And some Model Magic clay, as you guys can see. That's the class pack of Model Magic. We're only going to add about a little chunk of that because that's going to be a little bit difficult to knead in. Just like that. That's about good. And then lastly, I have some fishbowl beads. Well, not the last, but... I have some fishbowl beads actually from, I don't actually remember, I think it's from Michael's, I don't know. So this stuff is expansive, so we're not going to mix it all. And lastly, we have some cornstarch, which is so messy, so. Whoa, that was a ton, but that's okay. So we've reached the point where we've actually used every single ingredient of slime I actually own. So actually... This is all of it, but there's one more thing I haven't added, but I'll be right back. So here's the finished product. His name is Mr. Trashy, just like the previous video, and Mr. Trashy is probably going to go in the trashy. So I kept finding random blobs in my slime, and then I thought it was the clay, but then I started kneading it, and it wouldn't get any better. So then I looked, and I realized it was the pom-poms, see? And I squeezed one of the pom-poms, and strange juices came out of it. So I'm quite concerned as to why there was juices in a pom-pom. I might have to call up the pom-pom company and, you know, have a little discussion. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, to become an official minion. And don't forget to hit that bell to become a member of the Simon Minion Family Notification Squad. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and...